your, your forecast. Connecticut tourism. <laughs> <laughs> no, we promise this isn't even sponsored. Um, you know, we keep saying we don't want rain this weekend. We don't want rain this weekend and we don't because it's the weekend. But I want to make sure that we're talking about how much we do actually need the rain. So every Thursday, the U.S. Drought Monitor report comes out with an update and it's not good for Connecticut. Now 40% of the state, the area in the brown shading here, basically the eastern half of the state or most of the eastern half is considered in moderate Still. drought conditions. So we desperately need it and there's no surprise as to why we're closing the record books on the month of June about one and a half inches below average in terms of rainfall and exactly average in terms of temperature. Where do we go from here as we head through the month of July? Well, the average high temperature doesn't change very much. It's 84 degrees heading through the day tomorrow. We're up to 86. This is the hottest high temperature that we ever see here in Connecticut. July, the hottest month for us. And then it's all downhill from here down to 85 as we head towards the end of the month. What about daylight? We lose 44 minutes of daylight as we head through the month of July. Deb just talked about how it was the hottest month and now we're already losing daylight. Uh, what about records? For the month of July, the hottest temperature that we've ever experienced is 103 degrees. That was set back in 2011. What about the coldest? 44 and the wettest 11 inches, 11 inches of rain. Of course, we always get our wettest months whenever we're talking about tropical systems. Now, we've got nothing on the horizon at this point. Low temperatures tonight in the 60s. It is going to be a mild and muggy night ahead. Not extreme humidity, but definitely enough so that you're feeling it. You know, the last few days have been next to perfect. We've had the warmth without the humidity. So tomorrow we're going to change that up. Heading through the day tomorrow, we're looking at a high of 89 in Willimantic, 93 degrees in Hartford, and right around the 90 degree mark for the New Haven area. So it's hot even down to the shoreline. I do want to tell you there is a slight chance for a pop up shower in the afternoon tomorrow. Most of the state does not see it. The same is true for tomorrow evening. Then heading into your Saturday, we start off the morning with mostly cloudy skies. The chance for a passing shower or rumble of thunder but a lot of the day Saturday is dry. Then as we head into the afternoon and evening, let's say between three o'clock and about eight o'clock, we'll bring in a line of scattered showers and storms. Not every town will be affected by it, but something along this line could be strong to severe. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that. The biggest risk if we do end up getting a strong to severe storm would be for gusty winds. After it, it looks like the front clears out of here, takes the humidity along with it. So. We're down to low humidity again for Sunday, which will be really nice. And the same is true for the 4th of July. So we're loving the way this second two days of the holiday weekend look. Here's your Fox 61 seven day forecast. It does turn cooler as we head towards this time next week. Your shoreline seven day low to mid 80s heading into this weekend. Your first seven day in July, guys.